Jesse Comfer is a Northbrook native, three-time world champion, and member of the 2022 U.S. Olympic women's ice hockey team. She's also now an Olympic silver medalist. Jesse Comfer joins us now with more on her work and the future of professional women's ice hockey. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. I, I, mean, I was telling her in the break, I see her signs all over around Northbrook Yay. area. It's so exciting. How does it feel coming home after winning a silver medal in the Olympics? Yeah, definitely the support since I've been home has been unbelievable. Being in China, not having family and friends there there was definitely sad but when you come home and everyone's so proud of you and excited and just wants to be there for me has been nothing short of amazing cool well, Jesse let's go back to the very beginning like tell us a little bit about growing up and how did you discover that you were really good at the sport <laughs> um, I started playing when I was about three years old my brother played and I was always around the ring so I was like I might as well try it and then got on the ice and fell in love with it and ever since then it's been being on this Olympic team has been my dream and oh, I'm so cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, and I just love it. Love everything about it. It couldn't have been easy coming up mm -hmm. as a girl playing ice hockey. It's changing, but it's not changing fast. And when you were little, you're probably one of the only. Yeah, I played on a boys team pretty much up until high school and the sport is definitely changing and there are more women and girls playing, but there's definitely places we need to take this game as a female in this sport and I think we're on the right track. That's good. Do you take some inspiration from like the U.S. women's soccer team and like are you hearing from a lot of young women, young girls out there? Yeah, I think coming home after this Olympics, um, I've seen a lot of little girls and I've been at different events and there are more girls than there were when I was there so that's definitely exciting seeing them and I hope I can inspire them to play for Team USA one day. I mean, how cool is that she's got the medal on yeah, right now? You gotta awesome. show it off. Yeah. <laughs> I would wear it to sleep it if I were you. <laughs> Try it on. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, right? <laughs> yes, these are super. Ha I've seen a couple before. Oh, oh my, my gosh. goodness! <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Okay, wow. Ooh, that is so cool. Oh wow, no, that that that's that, 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 that I don't yeah. know. That could strain your neck there. Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. That is so cool. Congratulations. I mean, did you ever imagine that you would win an Olympic medal? Um, it was definitely a dream of mine growing up, and I didn't really think it was that realistic until kind of I hit college and I made my first national team, but. I mean, I just never thought this dream would come true. And I just, the entire time I was in China, I was like, is this real? Like, yeah. I just was a pinch me moment every second of the day. I mean, as a kid, you, you watch these mm -hmm. athletes playing and I, there are a lot of kids who go, man, I want to do that someday. But to actually get there, I mean, it's such a small percentage of people make it. Yeah, I mean, I really didn't think it was real until <laughs> opening ceremonies. Then that was the first moment it hit me. And I was like, wow, I'm at the Olympics. And this is the most amazing experience of my life. Have you heard from one of your heroes? Like, tell us a, you know, a story of something that really meant a lot to you, you know, like. Um, I think my hero growing up was Kendall Coyne, who was on my team. And mm -hmm. I think that that was like the wow moment when this whole year I was sitting next to her in the locker room and I just <laughs> that was when I was like wow I've I've made it and I'm sitting here next to my idol like she's my line or not my line but she's my teammate and my friend and that was like the big moment for me as I think I saw a video with you too where you were talking about how different it was to play on the Olympic team like yeah. it's just faster and just a completely different level right yeah coming out of college um, the game just moves so much faster the compete level is higher and when we play Canada we know it's going to be a right. fierce game every single time but those are the games we live for and we love it yeah were you surprised I mean did, did you have a lot of nerves or were you mm. surprisingly calm? How did you feel? I think as an athlete, you're always nervous, but it's good nerves. But I think until I played my first shift and got on the ice, the nerves kind of went away. And that's when you just go out there and play your game and enjoy it and have fun. All right, so what does the future hold? Mm -hmm. uh, are you uh, going to play professionally? How, what's going to happen next? I'm going to go back to school for a year, but there will be hopefully a new league coming up in the next couple weeks or months for women's hockey. I think that our game is going in the right direction and we have a lot of leaders who are taking this game to new heights and I'm proud and excited to be a part of it. Okay, Gosh. I hope you get paid Me as too. much as the men players. Yeah, That's you all. know, it, I mean, <laughs> Me get, too. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom like us too. <laughs> Jesse, thanks so much for coming in. Your story is such an inspiration. I bet you a lot of little girls look up to you right now. Thank you very much. Oh, so cool. Oh my so gosh, cool. such an honor. Thank yeah. you so much for being with us.